if you like a, a good bourbon and you also like a good rye, yeah, the sour mash, the sour is the best mashes, in both worlds. Right there are the other sour mashes, and like you said, uh, you've had some um, old fashioned mm -hmm. that just didn't, they weren't that great. And yeah. for me, um, a couple places, not throwing anybody under the bus, but one out in uh, Colorado, Aurora, Colorado, there's a, uh, a hotel called, uh, I think it's like Woolies Classic Two Suites or Classic Suites Two, something like that. And um, I ordered, this was before the podcast even began. It was early band, like I was still writing. I think I had just finished recording the first, what is oh, it, six right, right. of yep. the of mm -hmm. the EP, mm -hmm. uh, the Impedum Concilium. And so like I finished that, and then I go on vacation. Uh, when we get to the hotel, I order a uh, an old fashioned because it jumped out at me on the on the cocktail list, and I'm like, yeah, I'll try it out. But it had, um, I think, what it had was the hotel machine ice, mm -hmm. which is fine, whatever. And uh, it had a uh, mar maraschino cherry. However you pronounce that, I think I think there was an ice or a sugar cube in there. Maybe it was muddled, or it's probably simple syrup. Now that I'm thinking about it, and um, it was made with Maker's Mark. And when I got it, the presentation was good. I'd probably give it a five. It looked good, you know, for a hotel, uh, a simple, old fashioned that you get, you know, anywhere. But now that I've seen them done well, I'd probably give it a three. It was nothing <laughs> special. It didn't wow me. It was just like that looks all right. It's not bad. Right. Yep. I probably have a picture of it somewhere on my phone, one of my old memory cards somewhere. And um, that was the last night in Colorado before I woke up with COVID. Oh, yeah. So I, I, I do remember that. Yeah. I went on vacation to Colorado. <clears throat> Great times. Red Rocks. There was uh, like antique stores out there because mm -hmm. we, we do some antiquing, Jennifer and I do. Uh, we did some um, uh, poking around in, uh, what is it, the, the Tahoe, Lake Tahoe area. Oh, yeah. Uh, where there's lots of uh, cool little shopping. There's a lot of there, cool stuff a in that area. Little uh, little cool shopping district in there uh, with their different beef jerky or their different jerkies and their uh, uh, candy stores and their um, oh cigar shops and novelties and coffee shops and all kinds of different cool shit. Bookstores. I got a couple different sets of tarot cards there. Anyway, so like I'm doing all this shit fully loaded on COVID, not having any idea. I've got. We went to Meow Wolf and I'm like. Fucking that half dead. So cool. Dude, Meow Wolf is amazing. Have you been? I have not. All right. You say you're going to Las Vegas soon. Get your ass out it, there. It actually, okay, they so, have one that we haven't been to. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's actually the, the original one. Okay. They yeah, started okay. it in Vegas. And yeah, it, that's been on my list for a while, but that hadn't registered in my mind yet. Yeah. That, yeah I'm so going maybe you go there and trip. don't tell the wife and kids and then take them there later. Or maybe you just go anyway. I, I don't know. But you have to go. Like... If if the Colorado Meow Wolf, the Denver uh, Meow Wolf is anything like any of the others, you have to yeah. go. It's it's like a psychedelic experience without the drugs. Now, if you do a little mushroom tea before you go in there, it's going to be a wild ride probably because it's <laughs> fucking amazing. So anyway, check that out. If if you got an extra like I think what four hours, maybe four and a half hours mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to completely go through the whole thing. Definitely check out Meow Wolf. The other old-fashioned uh, experience I had was at uh, Red Lobster. <laughs> so I'm part... Yeah, laugh it up, Buttercup. Oh, no, I'm, 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 I'm with... Um, I'm some, laughing, but but Red Lobster is a big deal in this house. Is it really? We we love shrimp. So, yeah, we okay. Love, we love all okay. you can eat okay. shrimp. So shrimp, shrimp fest. we call it... Uh, uh, what, I have a little group of friends, and we call it Scrimp's Crew. And we go usually whenever, you know, shrimp season, uh, the feast or whatever's going on, mm -hmm. any kind of dumb special they got. Uh, you know, and no, um, Red Lobster's not a fancy restaurant. It's like the Applebee's of seafood restaurants. So right? what is your favorite shrimp? When I was a kid, it was scampi. And then okay. Walt's famous shrimp was really good. But then it moved on to scallops, the fried scallops. So good. Or the... The scallop kind of scampi or whatever that was stupid good too. I really don't. The butterfly shrimp is good. The the coconut shrimp. The coconut shrimp was was uh, an unexpected surprise uh, because I'm not a huge fan of coconut. Mm -hmm. I like it, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to run out and buy the t-shirt. Right. But coconut shrimp, stupid good. Yep. So I don't really know. I I don't know if I could nail it down to a favorite. We uh we we have a tradition. Anytime we go. I love the shrimp, the coconut shrimp. Mm -hmm. Love the scampi. Mm -hmm. they've, they've had a couple newer ones on skewers that, that are pretty good. Yeah. I'm blanking on what they're done. But anyway, where I was going with this was our plan is we always finish 
with the the, the shrimp pasta, the okay, uh, the, the the linguine. Yeah, linguine. Yeah, yeah. Because the pasta fills you up, so you don't mm-hmm. want to start with that. Right, which you, is a mistake I make. You end with that. They bring it to you. You take you, that home. You twirl your fork around in there a couple times. Maybe take a bite, mm-hmm. and yeah, then you go. I'm Can so I get a full. box? I'm so full. They bring you a box, uh-huh. and you have... Another one for the kid. Got I'll l- make it two. You got lunch tomorrow. You got lunch the next day. And then ask for breadsticks to go. Uh, oh, yeah. Those... those uh, So good. Chesapeake Bay. Oh, uh, those... Bu- the, not, not breadsticks. The, the I'm thinking biscuits. Olive Garden. Yeah, those biscuits. The Cheddar Bay biscuits. So <sighs> good. Jennifer's not a huge fan, but um, she definitely likes them. And she always You can always get that in a me, box from the grocery store, you know. Yeah, it's not quite. It's not quite because they're baked yeah. uh, differently. I don't. There's something different about there them. There is definitely something different. They hit different. They're, they're good. They're but, definitely good. Definitely but, worth but buying. Definitely to check out. not the same as mm-hmm. getting them at Red Lobster. Yeah, but the uh, the Red Lobster old fashioned. It was okay. It was an old fashioned, but to say it yeah. was underwhelming was, it's accurate. Yeah, and. Not quite an understatement, and, that, and that's but, and, and that's what I was saying. Is yeah, yeah. It was similar to the uh, the hotel old fashioned, just more water. It seemed like it mm-hmm. seemed like it was more watered down. And I wouldn't have ordered it um, at the time, except for my buddy Fritz. He ordered it because he he loves an old fashioned. You so just, I tried it. Just, I'm like, Ugh. you just had hit the nail on, on, on both on, of them on, had Maker's Mark. You just hit the nail on, on the head on a point. I've had an old fashioned where. They have rounded down the amount of whiskey that's in it mm. because then they hit it with a splash of soda water. Soda water. And, and I saw that and I was just like, you you didn't really just do that, did you? Yeah. Hit me with another bourbon, mm-hmm. asshole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, it, it wasn't that great. Yeah. You just gave me an, an ounce and a half mm-hmm. versus two. The ones we made tonight were three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and the bourbon of choice, the Mitchers Sour Mash, definitely shines. And it shines so well. 